Meanwhile, the New York Times, you know, for, the New York Times for, for months has been just ragging on Joe Biden's age. I mean, even before the debate, uh, but, but particularly since the debate. And now they're starting to rag on, on uh, Kamala Harris. Is, is it that the editor of the New York Times, because he was pissed off at Biden because he wouldn't do an interview with him the way that Donald Trump did, is he now pissed off at Kamala Harris? I, I, I don't get it. Ali Mistal uh, just shredded the Times in an op-ed in the, uh, the Nation this week. Uh, the New York Times had an article that they published a couple days ago, and the headline was, Some Black Voters Say They Wonder If a Black Woman Can Win. <clears throat> and they, you know, they went out and they interviewed a bunch of black people and they found a couple of women who said, I don't think he can win. I don't think she can win, you know, uh, racism, misogyny. And so they built this entire article around this. You know, uh, we, you know, they wonder if she can win. Ellie Mistal responds, he says, uh, I wonder if aliens exist. I wonder if God is an a-hole. I wonder how many abortions Donald Trump has paid for. But the Times wouldn't run a story that said some black voters say they wonder how many Ku Klux Klan members attended the Republican National Convention. Although that's actually a reasonable question to ask, you know. How many Klan members attend, attended the RNC? He called it nothing more than white male supremacy, and I think he's right. He said, I can already see David Brooks and Brett Stevens clacking away on their keyboards, doing everything in their power to call Harris unqualified, unintelligent, and undeserving of the office she seeks. Donald Trump, you'll recall, uh, Donald Trump said that uh, Letitia James was dumb as a, as, as a rock. Um, he said Alvin Bragg was dumb as a rock. Uh, he, I, I believe he said Barack Obama was dumb as a, dumb as a rock is, is Donald Trump's favorite phrase for uh, black people. And sure enough, yesterday he said Kamala Harris is dumb as a rock. Yeah, this woman has a law degree. She was a prosecuting attorney. She was the state attorney general. She's been vice president of the United States. She is whip smart. She knows what she's talking about. She's been doing a great job. And, uh, you know, the Biden treatment to Kamala Harris from the New York Times, no thanks, guys. I mean, let's, let's, I, you know, I get it. The paper record is trying to be balanced. Gee, on one side is the survival of democracy, and on the other side is, the, is uh, you know, tyranny and dictatorship here in the United States. I guess uh, we just need to present both these as, as if they're just like credible, normal conversations to have. That's what the Times has been doing. In fact, their, their editor, uh, Mr. Khan, uh, said, you know, democracy is not our top priority. Or words to that effect. They have normalized Trump and Vance, and they continue to. And now they're trash talking uh, Kamala Harris. I, I think it's just tragic. On top of the fact that they, they got rid of Vertex, this game that they've got <laughs> that I liked. But anyway, it's, uh, this is, I think, a, uh, uh, a, 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 a harbinger, harbinger, is that how you say it? Harbinger? A, a, a sign, an omen of the kind of treatment that she's gonna get. I mean, she's had two days of just everybody kumbaya loving her. It's gonna get ugly, ugly, ugly. They are gonna go after her. They're gonna Willie Hortonize her. It's gonna get bad. They're already doing it with this DEI hire stuff. <laughs>